Hello, I'm going to talk to you about data access modes for pulling data from a source system. We have three modes. One is live. This is like a direct query to the source for every query. Another is automatic caching. Today, I'm going to talk about extract mode. It's very similar to automatic caching. However, it always uses the last known good extract, whereas automatic caching will fail over to live queries in case there's a problem caching more data. Let's look at an example. Let's look at the data definition. This data set is currently set to live. If we change that to automatic caching, OAC will automatically attempt to load the data. Extracted mode is similar to automatic caching, except metadata changes will only be committed once the extraction is complete. Let's see how that works. So we're going to set to the extracted mode. And we'll go ahead and save this data set. And now you'll see that you have a spinning icon saying that your data is being saved and it will be refreshed in the background. Note, while this first load happens automatically, you'll need to set up a schedule to reload data on whichever schedule fits your business problem. You'll see in the workbook that the data set is still being committed, and if we had made metadata changes, they won't be available until the extract is complete. Now the data set just finished, and now you can see this has been extracted. If we'd had any metadata changes, they would show up at this time. Let's look at another example where you may want to use extracted mode. Let's say I have a workbook based on a local subject area. This can be a good technique to limit the number of columns that the user has to use to build a report. However, these queries are going to the subject area, which is connected to the live database. In some cases, your subject area queries might be a little bit slower due to the volume of data or the types of complex calculations involved. What could you do about that? Let's look at this local subject area. By default, local subject areas are also set to live. This provides the most recent data from your data source. However, if your complex calculations are slowing your report down, or if you have large amounts of detailed data that are being queried by your subject area, you can pick extracted mode. An important thing when you pick extracted mode is the data is going to be pulled, think of it like an export from your subject area, as a specific user. Let's go ahead and save it. This is similar to that database-based data set that we used before. Now the data is being extracted and will be able to be used in that same workbook. Let's go back and take a look. You notice that I haven't made any changes to the workbook and it works the same. Now these queries will be even faster than they were against the subject area. A few things to be aware of. Now, this cached local subject area is presenting data as the run as user. Furthermore, you need to pay attention to the measures and calculations. You want to pick measures and dimensions that work together. You can't just pull every single column from your subject area for this to work correctly. You also want to consider having your calculations and measures. Make sure you include the filters and dimensions you need to look at the data and include calculations that make sense at the grain of your data. The primary use of this extracted mode is to speed up dashboards which are sensitive to subject area query performance.